Alright, hey everyone, this is QB King 77 again from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to show you how to unroute back to stock without using your computer. Um, this is great now that we have that just in case. It's good to have on your phone, on your SD card, just in case you do need to go back to stock and you don't have access to a computer. Uh, basically, what you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description, and it'll take you to this website right here, it's XDA Developers website, to give this thread. Thanks, big thanks to DRockstar for this. Um, it's a ROM, re-RFS ROM. Uh, what you're going to need to do is scroll down a little bit, and you'll need to click on one of these three links. It'll all download the same thing. Just download one of them, and then you're going to need to download Epic 4G Stack Recovery. So click on both of these download both of them and put them both on your SD card. It doesn't matter where, just put them both on your SD card. After you have them on your SD card, you're going to need to go back to your phone. I am currently running Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.1.0. Um, as you can see, SRF 1.1.0. And what you're going to need to do is boot into Clockwork. So you're going to need to power off <clears throat> just make sure you have decent battery life um, this doesn't take too long but definitely at least over 30 percent all right so now that it's powered off you're going to need to boot into clockwork volume down camera button and power button all at the same time And once, once you boot up into Clockwork, you're going to need to go down to install zip from SD card. Um, if, you, if you need to, uh, make sure you make an Android backup of this. Uh, you basically go to Backup and Restore and hit Backup. Um, it'll, basically, it'll back up what your current setting is just in case anything is wrong. I already have an Android backup on my phone in case anything goes wrong. But if you don't have one, I would recommend making one. Uh, after that, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Then go to wherever you put that reRFS.format.rom.eco5 zip file. I have it in a folder called no PC. Um, and then you're going to want to just flash that reRFS.format.rom.eco5. Go ahead and flash that. It'll <clears throat> basically what it's going to do is convert your file system back to RFS stock RFS and it'll be like you just rooted with 2.5 um, you won't have any XT4 file system anymore okay so now that it is done um, it'll say important please read in case of error and phone does not boot use four finger boot to return to clockwork hold volume up volume down camera button and power button at the same time it'll reboot you back into clockwork and then just try and reflash this re-RFS again. Um, but it says install from SD card complete, so you're going to want to go back and then reboot system. What's going to happen is when it reboots, it's going to be back on the RFS file system. It'll Alright, so now that my phone has booted up, I am now back on the RFS file system. Um, but I will have Clockwork Mod 2.5.1 on my phone, so I will be able to boot back into Clockwork. I'm not completely stock yet. You're going to need that other zip file that you downloaded. So what you're going to need to do then is go ahead and power down. Just, uh, just a heads up, this does actually wipe all your data. And... Um, so make sure you back stuff up with titanium backup or whatever you like to use. Make sure contacts are backed up. All right, now that your phone is back to power down, go ahead and boot back into clockwork, volume down, camera button, power button. And as you can see, you're not booted into clockwork mod 3.0.0.6, you're in 2.5.1.0. Uh, it's green now instead of orange. So what you're going to need to do now is go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip and then go to that other zip file, that epic4g.stock.recovery.eco5. 
dot zip that's going to basically put you all completely back to stock in case you do need to turn in your phone to sprint for a warranty reason anything like that so go ahead and flash that and it says please reboot so once you reboot when you actually try and boot back into clockwork it'll go into stock recovery which is what comes with every epic out of the box it'll be the stock recovery instead of any clockwork um, so once that boots up I will show you that all right, so now I am booted up. Um, I'm completely back to stock EC05, no clockwork mod at all. About phone, build number, Froyo EC05. So now it's back to stock in case you ever need to turn your phone into Sprint for a warranty reason, anything like that, you're good to go. That is all without a PC. So um, I hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching.